Assalamu alaikum dear students. I hope you are well by the grace of Allah with your friends and families. Welcome to our today's online class. First of all, I would like to introduce myself. This is Sifat Ferdusi Shaun, lecturer, Department of Biology, Milestone College, Uttara, Dhaka. Today, I will discuss about nucleus structure of nucleus, function of nucleus and all about nucleus. So dear students, let's start our today's online class. What we will be learn from our today's lesson? First of all, what is nucleus? Structure of nucleus, function of nucleus. Nucleus is considered as the brain of the cell. What is satellite? So, first of all, nucleus is a part of protoplasm, also known as brain of cell life center. Scientist Robert Brown in 1831 at first discovered the nucleus from the cell of orchid plant Rasna. Latin word nux is equal to nut and its meaning nucleus. And then Number and distribution of nucleus. Normally, there is a single nucleus in a cell. Nucleus is absent in prokaryotic cell, but nucleus is absent in some eukaryotic cell like mature sieve cell, red blood cell of human being. And then, more than one nucleus is found in many cells like Pouteria, Botridium, Spheropia, Penicillium or Fungi. This type of multinucleated plant cell is called Xenocytes. The multinucleated animal cell is called Plasmodium. Example, Malarial Parasite. And then the shape of nucleus. Generally, nucleus is circular, but in some cases it may be semicircular, fusiform that is reddish type, a twisted plate like branched. And then location of the nucleus. Generally, nucleus is located at the center, but if the cell vacuole is large in size, it may be present at the periphery of cell. This area is called periphery and this is the uh, center. Now the size of nucleus. Nucleus may be small or large in size. It occupies about 10% to 15% of the total area of cell. About 90% of the sperm is the nucleus. Now, why nucleus is considered as the brain of the cell? Because it regulates all the biological function of a cell. It contains chromosome by which the hereditary characters are retained generation after generation. And it plays a very important role in RNA and protein synthesis. Now, I will draw the structure of nucleus. Please draw with me. First of all, I will draw the nuclear membrane. We know that the nucleus have a envelope and it is composed of bilayered membrane. So this is the outer layer this is the outer layer and This is the inner 
inner membrane or inner envelope now so nucleus is nucleus hep envelope and this is double layered membrane which is composed of phospholipid bilayer so this is the nuclear membrane this is called outer membrane and this layer is inner membrane so this outer layer and inner membrane and this double layer membrane is composed of phospholipid bilayer and this nuclear membrane has some pore like structure this is pore like structure and this is called the new clear pore and this place and this place is this is most likely jelly like types of substance and this place is known as nucleoplasm and nucleoplasm contains chromatin reticulum and nucleolus so here i will draw this is the nucleolus this nucleolus is small and thick this nucleolus is small and thick so this is the new clue last and this nucleolus have some structure and this is called chromatin reti kulam so this is the structure of nucleus so now i will write figure structure of new nucleus which is called the center of the cell so nucleus have the double layered membrane which is phospholipid bilayer which is composed of phospholipid bilayer and this membrane has some pore like structure and this pore is called nuclear pore and this space is called nucleoplasm this nucleoplasm also called karyolim and this fiber like structure is called chromatin reticulum and this round and thick like structure is called nucleolus so this is the structure of nucleus i hope you understand the structure of nucleus now the physical structure of nucleus physically nucleus is composed of following four parts number 1 nuclear envelope nuclear envelope is bilayered and number b the it is composed of phospholipid bilayer 
here you can see this is the picture of nucleus and this is the nuclear envelope and this is the bilayered membrane it is, is the outer membrane and this is the inner membrane and this is the nuclear pore and it also have heterochromatin and uh, eochromatin and this place that is jelly like type substance this is called nucleoplasm and this is the nucleolus and this is the chromatin uh, reticulum so this is the structure or diagram of plant cell of nucleus now there are numerous pores all over the nuclear envelope which is absent in other cellular organelles protein granules are circulatory arranged around the pore the pore is contractile that means it has ability to contraction or uh, relaxation and now the pore is regulated by eight protein granules among eight proteins the middle or central protein is large in size this is called transporter protein the central or transporter protein plays a very important role in transporting different substances especially large molecules like rna from inside to outside and vice versa number eight in some places the nuclear envelope sometimes attach with other cellular organelles especially endoplasmic reticulum and then nucleoplasm nucleoplasm also known as karyolymph contains it contains chromatin fiber and nucleolus it helps in different metabolic activities of nucleus nucleoplasm acts as principal center of the activities of enzyme and then now nucleolus this is comparatively small and thick and spherical in shape number b scientist fontana at first discovered it inside the nucleus in 1781 and later on in 1840 scientist bowman named it nucleolus number c nucleolus is attached at a specific location of a specific chromosome the point where nucleus is attach with the chromosome is known as satellite so this is the very important question for you the cell where protein synthesis does not occur nucleolus is absent there d there is more than one nucleolus in nucleus of a cell where the rate of protein synthesis is very high origin it is proved that the gene that is present at the satellite of a chromosome plays a direct role in development of formation of nucleolus physical structure of nucleolus the nucleolus is not bounded by any covering membrane nucleolus is composed of three different parts fibrous part granular parts and matrix and then the chemical structure chemically nucleolus is composed of protein rna trace amount of dna functions of nucleolus it helps in synthesis of different types of rna synthesis and conservation of protein act as storehouse of nucleotides now it's time for homework function of nucleus it will be your homework please submit your homework in your respective subject wise homework group if you have any query please ask your subject teacher so dear students i hope you all enjoyed our today's online class thank you for being with me stay home and stay safe take care allah hafiz